In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the off effect within X lights. So here you can see the off effect. Okay, so we can drop that onto the timeline. And you know, this is probably in a lot of ways the effect with you know that's of least interest, but it does have a lot of important uses. So let's just look at some of those uses now. So imagine I have an effect here, this one out of the way, say running on an arch. And just for the center part of that animation, I want, you know, the animation not to be displayed, you know, and I don't want to have to split this animation down because that could affect some of the timings. That is where I could use an off effect. So if I put a layer above, the layer that I want to block with the off effect and I drop the off effect on. So now I've got an off effect just in the middle of the animation. Now if we play that animation, you can see it disappears for a bit but then carries on. So we're just blocking that animation for a short period of time. Okay, so that's one way of using the off effect. Next one, imagine I've got this same animation but I've got it running consecutively on a timeline like this, where it goes through. Now imagine I want to hold that animation at the end, so like a freeze frame. There is ways of doing it with the layer blending, but it can be quite a bit of a faff to get all the numbers correct in there. But nice and easy is to drop the off effect at the end of the animation. And what you must do, you firstly must ensure that the render style is the same and the transformation is the same on the off effect. In this case, it is its default and transformation none. And then what we must do is set the off effect to transparent and tick the persistent box. Now what you will see, if I do the same in both areas, now when I play that animation, animates, holds the animation, animates, holds the animation. So you can use it as a freeze frame and you can use this with any effect. It could be an image effect, a butterfly effect, a pinwheel, you name it, you can use this as a freeze frame. Now, another way that I use it is you imagine you're applying an effect to the entire house. Okay, now what you will find is your animation here. Yeah, you can see your animation, but the animation for the whole house is also affecting this arch. Now, that might be what you want. That might be, uh, you know, what you're going for. But if not, again, by using the layers on the appropriate prop, in this case, the arch, I'm going to put an off effect below. So what's going to happen is this butterfly effect is going to be rendered on the entire house. Then it's going to come down to here and it's going to turn the entire effect off for the archers. And then it's going to render my animation over the top. So even though I have an all house effect going, yeah, playing there on the archers. Now when it gets here, that effect is turned off. I can only see my animation. So that's another way of using the off effect. Okay, so I've shown you three ways to freeze frame the last frame of an animation, to turn off the effect in mid effect by putting it on the top layer of a prop, and by obliterating any animations that come before it on other layers so they don't affect your current prop by putting it on the bottom layer of the animation of the prop. Okay.